Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hold in my hand what is considered to be the most important element on the face of this earth. I've been told by a chemistry professor while I sat in a cramped 50 plus year old chair in chemistry class one day that it is also the strangest element to work with. When it freezes, it expands, it's either acidic or a base, and you only live a week without it before you die. Also, if you consume too much, you will also die, which is quite unfortunate. But. And according to allaboutwater.org, somewhere between 70 and 75 percent of the Earth's surface is covered by this element. This element is part of our everyday life, whether you like it or not. Mm. And it actually tastes quite good. Of course, what I'm talking about is a fascinating element we all know as water. Yes, I am talking about water. Or simply H2O. Or agua. Or even wawa. Anybody? Uh, first off, uh, water is very important to our lives, as we all know. But do we as a consumer really know where it comes from, how it's purified, and the regulations behind it? Uh, first off, I'd like to tell you where water comes from, though. And there are five types of natural water, artesian water being the first one. And artesian water is the only water out of the five that is under a lot of pressure. And I don't mean pressure like, oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous water, nothing like that. Um, but what I mean is, uh, well, what happens is with artesian water is um, there's a layer of rock above this water that pushes down and causes the water to speed up to the surface where we are. Um, another one is spring water, which a lot of you are familiar with, especially if you're a hiker. And spring water can be found, you know, bubbling on the surface, or you can also get to it by drilling a hole uh, straight to the source. Uh, the spring water. Another one is mineral water, mineral water, which is basically spring water except that it has a lot more uh, dissolved um, particles or dissolved solids to it, such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, um, even sodium. And another one is naturally sparkling water, which just seems kind of weird in that it's the only one with a natural carbonation to it. So, I don't know, there's a lot of weird things on the world today, and that's one of them. And then you also have your well, your basic well water, which uh, we've all seen. And you can get it by bucket or pipes, whatever, but don't fall under them. And uh, this picture shows three of the five, and uh, Here's your well water going straight to the source, and your artesian well spewing to the surface, and the spring water. So, but the other two aren't listed. Sorry about that. Um, now that we know where water comes from, let's take a look at how water is purified. And there's actually five, I believe that I go over, uh, five purification methods. And also, this video shows certain methods used um, with different filters and treatments that I'll go over with. The first one is filtration, which is your basic filter. And uh, I guess you should also notice that these little particles going through here are just germs and viruses and bacteria and contaminants and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, your next one is distillation. And what happens with distillation is uh, the water is vaporized, and what's left after it's vaporized is minerals, so that's nice. And another one is UV light treatment, um, which I think you just saw that, it's actually on this video. UV light treatment, what happens is they zap the water and it just kills bacteria and viruses. And um, it's said to be uh, disinfected. 
Um, another one is reverse osmosis, and this one's kind of cool in that uh, it gets down to the molecular level, in the, and it doesn't even uh, let ions through, which is unbelievable. Or it doesn't let certain ions through. Um, and according to an article by Professional Engineering, reverse osmosis membrane uses a nano composite material which consists of a cross-linked matrix of polymers embedded with nano particles. And I mean, we're talking like, this is small, small, this is small filter. Um, uh, another one is ozonation. And yes, this is actually the stuff in the atmosphere that reflects water. Actually, Al Gore talks about it a lot nowadays with his global warming speech. Um, uh, according to research by Gad, the absorption of ultraviolet radiation by oxygen produces ozone, which is a train of flowing gas. And essentially what he's saying is oxygen ions bind with other toxins like iron and sulfur, and they form a larger molecule that then filter out. So, it's kind of cool. Uh, with water bottle regulations, uh, we need, to know, we need to know how the good old FDA regulates our water. I know it's kind of boring, but it kind of alleviates the pressure of us being harmed. So we got to get through it. Um, according to bottlewater.org, the FDA's water good manufacturing practices mandate that bottled water is bottled in sanitary safety sealed containers under sanitary conditions. Of course, or else we'd all be best of the germs. Um, the FDA, first off, under these laws, must approve every material that bottled water uh, companies uh, use in the process of making their bottled water. This includes uh, bottle caps or even plastic that the water holds. And they also, whoa, got a little ahead there. Uh, they also require pressurized rooms, and these rooms actually are required to have air filters that even filter out the air. Um, so in conclusion, water is vital to our lives. As you can see, the process by which gets water is very complicated, and there are many different types of water. There are also many steps that go into purification before it reaches the consumer. Who knew that there, who knew that there could be so many different types of water? and so many different ways to purify. Of course, there are certain guidelines to everything in life when it comes to our safety. And the FDA seems to have evaluated even the simplest yet the most important thing to the finest detail for all of us. Today we talked about where the water comes from, how it's purified, and the regulations behind it. Now the next time you take a drink from a bottle of water, you know exactly where it came from and the process it went through just to reach you. So, Go drink down that bottle of water with confidence and know that you're getting the best from our most important source of life, and that is water. Thank you. Aaron Hansel had a very good presentation. He stumbled on a couple sentences, but overall... That sounds... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds uh, fake. How does it sound fake? Aaron Hansel had a great presentation. I'll show you how it's done in a second here. He's going to know what I have to say. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's good. He's, he's got, he's, he's uh, a little quiet, but I mean, he, I th he knows what he's talking about, that's for sure. Um, I guess, project a little more, but it's kind of hard to, and there's not a crowd full of people. Um, I mean, good topics, I learned something from it, that's for sure. Um, all in all, it's good speech. Okay, here's our building manager. Yeah. Well, it was a very interesting topic, and I already knew a lot of that, but I'm a micro major, so it kind of makes sense. Um, try and watch your pauses, because I noticed that you'd stop and you'd read what was on your computer screen, and then you'd say it, so try and, um, I don't know, read and talk at the same time, if that makes sense at all. Um, other than that, it was a really interesting, well... Not really interesting, but it was really, really good <laughs> speech. Um, and I like the pictures. The pictures really added some spice to it. So, good job. Thank you.